Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, today's video, uh, some more reveals. Two more Scoia Tail cards came out today. Uh, one by uh, Hesser and the other one by Efeldi. Uh, first, we're going to go over the Efeldi card because it just came out a few minutes ago. And I haven't really got to dive into it, but we're going to take a look at it and see. It's a classic character, which is kind of cool. I was wondering how they would make this card. I think it's kind of flavorful but I don't know um, it's uh, torque um, he's four this card seems crazy um, four strength eight provisions I love the art um, when he teased it I was like why does this Scoia tell character only have three fingers and I'm like ah now I see it's a Lorenzo card so the arts always gonna be awesome this dude's an incredible artist um, relic Whenever this card is boosted in your hand, boost a random different unit in your hand by the same amount. Devotion, this card always starts in your hand. So it's... Alright, so... It always starts in your hand, so it's like Sunset Wanderer. This is a new little thing that we're getting in, you know, that for sure golds is nice. So cards that boost in hand... Um, so if you play Ithlene with Torque in hand, you play a 6, it boosts for 4, you boost Torque, and then it boosts up things, so it goes for f 8 carryover. You can boost that onto a Skaggs, you can boost that onto lots of things. Um, Xavier Morin. Uh, lots of cards. Um... Mahakam Defender, not really that great right now, but um, the Sorceress, you could boost this and then the the Dolblathana Elf. That would be a good play. Um, protecting your other um, your other Elf, which Delph. <laughs> uh, the I can't think of the name of it. Uh, the Seer. Uh, that could be an option. Boosting up your defender, if you're a defender friend. Um, Skag seems like the home home run, but um, I like it a lot. I think this is huge. Um, just being able to protect an engine. I mean, Francesca. You boost this. You boost Francesca. Francesca's an eleven. How do you deal with that besides heat wave? That seems all right. I mean it I mean this card playing for a 12 for carryover of 8 seems pretty good. And then like hand buffs in general, if you can if this gets like say you do have the human the smuggler it hits this the smugglers boosting for two if it hits it that's more of a cool if it happens but if it doesn't type deal um bumping up your zoltan also zoltan's pretty you know he's gonna stick agalus um <laughs> more carryover for agalus for you to new class say um putting it on an uninteractive unit like Sesenthesis. I think Skaggs is where it's it's going to be the most effective, but whether or not that deck comes back. Um, Xavier Morin needs armor, so that doesn't really count. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, just being able to protect an engine. I, I think, too, the Dolblathana Sorceress. Even putting it on a Whisper. Okay, the Whisper goes up to a 7. That's hard to deal with. You're going to have to bleed this deck. Because if they get all this carryover on, in round 3, holy moly. But the question is, what are they putting it on? You know what I mean? I guess if they have a last say Skags, you're going to be in trouble. But you have to go tall for it to get full value. Bumping up Shiru's in hand. Smoking some nines or some eights. Uh, 
This needs armor. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think where you're going to run into problems if you run Ethne and you start bumping this thing up because it's going to flip and you're going to be sad. But uh, this card seems awesome, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Good job, CDPR. Good job. Um, this other one, though, kind of sad. I feel... I don't, I don't think this card ever sees play. On, even if you use that thing, the boosted one. Um, because it needs to be boosted already. So, And it's deploy. So, uh, Watcher of the Valley. Some people were giving shit on Reddit, too, about the art on this. Like... I do think it should have a a mage tag on it. If that's, I mean, if he's conjuring spells and he's got this ball bat and stuff, I mean, it's glowing. He's got to be a mage, right? So, I think there's a tag missing on this for sure. Um, but he's a four for four. Deploy. Give an enemy unit bleeding equal to the amount of boost of this card. So you're gonna play this with invigorate. Um, you can boost this and boost torque then boost this and it bleeds for two and then bond it if they don't kill it it damages itself or damages that unit instead of boosts it now does the actual unit itself have to be boosted as well or just to, if it's bonded and it's boosted by two it does two damage so it plays for a six it's still kind of slow it just seems way too slow um, I love this art, man. I think it's great. I mean, I don't know what everybody else is looking at, but I'll guarantee you this premium is going to be awesome. This dude's going to be conjuring up this spell. That staff he's got is going to be all lit up. Like, this is awesome. Like, what do you want? <laughs> I, I don't understand it. Like, if you see that on, on Reddit, give that dude some shit because he deserves it. I, I think the card looks great. I don't know. But um, I'll try to get another one out tomorrow. Uh, worst case scenario, it'll be up uh, Thursday. Depends on what time the reveals are for me to get it going. I might try to upload a mobile video. We'll see on, on the reactions. We'll see how it goes. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.